Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I will show you how to knit this Santa socks. <laughs> I call them like this. Really cute, easy uh, and um, it's flat socks with only one seam uh, on the heel. Uh, you can of course use another uh, colors and, uh, and yarn so make them just a simple one on just one color so up to you use your imagination so that's what we will need and then after this part we will uh, join and knit the sole and at the very end we will we will seam them so uh, these socks are done for the size us size uh, 7 or and also will fit size Eight. You can, if you want the size longer, so you will need the upper part, this one, longer. And that's actually it. That's how you change the size. If you want a really big size, you can also add four stitches for the ribbon. So that's it. For these socks I'm using 3.5 millimeters knitting needles, uh, 80 centimeters lens, circular needles, two colors. As I said, you can use only one color. Uh, regarding the yarn, white color, I was using uh, Karen Simply Soft, so it's medium worsted weight yarn. Yes, it's number four and red color this one uh, burnet christmas color i have also green skin so i will for sure do some some more socks some more christmas socks if you want to try knitting these cute socks with me let's do it together and trust me you will not regret they're really cute Using long tail cast on method, cast on 45 stitches or any other number that is divisible by 4 plus 3 extra stitches plus 2 salvage stitches. So slip the first stitch and start knitting ribbon, knit 1, purl 1. So I said for the 45 stitches. 40 stitches uh, divisible by 4, plus 3 and plus 2, so in total 45. If you are, if you are needing for the bigger size, as I said at the beginning, uh, cast on 49 stitches plus 4 stitches more. Or maybe you are using different yarn that is lighter than this one. So go on, ribbon till the end. At the end, we have knit one because we have three more extra stitches and pearl the last salvage stitch. We are now on the right side. You can see it. So this ridges showing us the front side. Slip the first stitch and go on knitting ribbon. Purl one here, knit one. Purl one, knit one. Purl one, knit one. Go on, finish this round row at the end. Purl the last stitch, it is a salvage stitch. Then turn and again knit a ribbon. So in total three rows. And here I am. I've done three rows and now it's time to change the color. If you don't want, you don't change it. And when I change the color, I'm going to knit the first stitch instead of slipping it. Later, I will I will tell you where you don't where you don't do this. 
So slip, uh, not slip, but knit the first stitch and go on ribbing. So we start uh, on the right side with purl stitch, purl one, knit one, and go on till the end. Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. Please finish this row and then go on knitting in and ribbing 10 more rows. So in total, together with the red color, we will have 13 rows. So here is the right side. Now we are on the right side. So I've done 10 rows in white and 3 rows in red color and let's measure the ribbing so that you know 6 centimeters in case you are using another yarn or you have enough the gauge. Now attach, uh, yeah I didn't tell you we cut the yarn before, now we are going to attach the red color. And instead of slipping the first stitch, knit it. Now knit three, one, two, three, and slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back. And again, knit three. And slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back. And repeat like this till the end. Knit 3, slip. Knit 3, slip. Knit 3, slip. Please go on, finish this row. At the end, three extra stitches. We need them. Need three, and pull the last belly stitch. Turn. Leave the first stitch here, and we see three pearl stitches. So you pull them. Pearl three. Slip the next stitch, holding working yarn this time in front, and repeat. Pearl three, slip the next stitch, holding working yarn in front. Pearl three, slip. Pearl three. Slip. Like this, go on knitting till the end. At the end, you will have purl three and pull the last slip stitch. Row number three, we pick up the white color already. So, and you remember when we change, we knit the first stitch. Now, purl one. Knit one, so simple ribbon. Purl one, and we always need this long stitch that we slipped twice into previous rows. And again, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit this long stitch, and repeat. Pearl one, knit one, pearl one, knit one. Go on till the end. So at the end we did pearl one, knit one, pearl one, and pearl the last salvage stitch turn. Row number four, slip the first stitch and pearl all stitches. Absolutely all stitches till the end. And last stitch also 
So which poet? There it is. Go on and finish this row. Row number five, you pick up again red color and leave the white one here. Knit the first stitch and change the color. And now knit one. Slip the next stitch holding, working yarn in back, and knit three. One, two, three. Again, slip the next stitch holding, working yarn in back. One, two, three. Slip and knit. So you see the slip stitches, and the next slip stitch will be exactly in the middle. Slip. Please go and finish this row at the end. So we slip the stitch, knit one and purl one. Turn. Slip the first stitch, purl one. And slip the next stitch holding working yarn in front. Then purl three. Slip the next stitch, purl three. Slip the next stitch, purl three. Slip the next stitch. And purl three again. Slip. Go on, finish. At the end, we slip, make purl one, and purl the last salvage stitch. Turn. Row number seven, leave the red color and pick up the white one. Knit the first stitch and change the color. And now you remember that the slip stitch have to be knit stitch. So before purl one, knit one. So it's ribbon, purl one, knit one. Purl one, knit one. Purl one, knit one, till the end. At the end, you see slip, purl, and purl the salvage stitch. Turn, and row number eight. As row number four, we are going to purl all stitches across. Please finish this row. And that's what I have. Let's measure just to know. Before we start knitting the central part, the sock measures 8 cm. And now I want to show you some calculations, some easy calculations. So we have 45 stitches. We divide them by 3, 3 parts, and get 15. The central part as the main pattern has to be divisible by 4 plus 3 extra stitches plus 2 uh, salvage stitches, so it is 13. Then right and left side will have 16 stitches each. The nearest number close to 15 that is divisible by 4 plus 3 extra stitches plus two salvage stitches is 13. 
That is why the central part is 13. I hope it's clear and if you have uh, other number of stitches so you can recalculate it for your size. The width of the central part is 6.5 centimeters. The length for my size will be 14 centimeters, but as I said, the bigger size, the, the longer central part. So you can try it on your leg while you are knitting. I hope it's clear. Now for the central part, you will need double pointed needles, the same size, it will be easier to turn back and forth. And um, if you don't have another ball, so you can take the, another strand from the center of the ball, then you need to cut this yarn. Uh, if you have that what I'm going to do, I'm taking the another tails from the center of the ball, then then I, we don't need to cut the main working yarn. So now you slip to the right hand needle 16 stitches according to our calculations. Just slip them to reach the central 13 stitches. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Now you take new tails and we are going to start with white color. And when we are knitting the central part, we don't need the first stitch, we slip it. We don't do it what we did for before. So when you need to change the color, you anyway slip the first stitch. So slip the first stitch and only after you add the red color. And the next row will be the same as row number one. We are going to repeat these eight rows that we did before. So knit three. And slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back. And again, knit three. Slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back. So let's count. One, two, three, four, eight stitches. So we need to wait. It's not uh, eight stitches, should be nine. Yes, we forgot to count uh, the first stitch that we didn't need, that we slipped. Yes, nine stitches. So four, four more stitches we are going to need. So need three. This is 12 and 13 purl one. This is, we count it as a salvage stitch. Right, so one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Correct. Turn. Turn. Slip the first stitch. Now purl three. Ah, I forgot to switch to double pointed needles. Wait. Okay, pearl three. 
and slip the next stitch holding working yarn in front and repeat again purl 3 slip the next stitch with working yarn in front again purl 3 and purl the last stitch that we slipped like this turn at this point we need to change the color as you remember so I'm going to add new tail and again the first stitch when we change the color only for the central part only for the central part we don't need it we slip it Slip the first stitch and start ribbing. You remember we need to start with purl one, purl one, lots of tails, but it's okay. Purl one, knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and purl the last sewing stitch. Turn. Correct. The next round a row will be the same as row number four. Slip the first stitch and purl all other stitches. And don't forget to purl this red stitch. Turn. The next row will be the same as row number five. Again, you need to pick up the red yarn. Slip the first stitch again. So you see the slip stitch will be here. So slip the first stitch. Then knit one. Then slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back. Then knit three. Slip the next stitch, again knit 3, slip the next stitch, knit 1, and purl the last stitch. Turn. Slip the next stitch. Purl one, then slip the next stitch holding working yarn in front. Purl three. Again, slip the next stitch. Purl three. Slip. Purl one. And purl the last sewing stitch. Turn. Next row will be the same as row number seven. And that's why we are slipping the first stitch, you see. 
we will need these first stitches to pick up new stitches from it. Change to the white color, slip the first stitch and then purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one till the end and purl the last sewing stitch. Turn and the last Row that we are going to repeat will be the same as row number 8. Slip the first stitch and purl all other stitches across. And pull the last salvage stitch. We have needed eight rows. Now we will start repeating the parting to get in total for the central part of 14 rows. And for the size 7 it will be enough. It is also important that you finish knitting your last row with white color. Please go on and I will see you after. So here I am and that's what I have. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 by 4, 14 rows and you see one side and another side. Now you need to return stitches from the right hand needle to the left hand needle. And I also wanted to add that the central part, the number of rows for the central part has to be divisible by 4. So we have done 40 rows, so divisible by 4. So it is also important. Now pick up the red color and here you can, when you're switching, you can knit the first stitch. We didn't, we didn't uh, knit the first stitch only for the central part. And let's go on with the pattern. So the next Row will be as row number one, knit three, slip the next stitch, holding working yarn in back. Again, knit three, slip, knit three, slip. Now, again, knit three, and the next stitches we are going to pick up along this first edge. In total we will pick up 20 stitches from one side and 20 stitches from another side. So we need to slip next stitch but at the same time we need to pick it up. So we just pick it from the white stitch, from the corner. So this is the first stitch then second if you will get tiny holes at the end so you can use these tails to sew them but try to pick up stitches in a way so get rid of holes so we did need one we need we need need three so this is the second and the third so we pick up stitches from those stitches that we didn't need but slipped. So this is the third one. Okay, and the next stitch we need to slip holding working yarn in back, but 
we pick it up and that's it. And again, need three. And the stitch we need to slip, we just pick it up. And again, need three. And slip. So let's count how many stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Thirteen stitches. We need to pick up seven more stitches. So in total, twenty, as I said. Yes. Go on picking up stitches along this edge. So in total 20. So this is the last one and you see the red stitch after, just don't touch it. Twenty. So you see this red stitch, you don't touch it. After that we go on knitting according to the pattern. So Slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back, then knit three, then slip again, then knit three, slip again, knit three. This stitch will also slip and we are going to pick up again 20 more stitches. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and the last one here. So let's check. So the last stitch will slip, then knit three, slip, knit three, slip. Knit three, slip, knit three, slip, knit three, slip. So the next side we will start with knit three. And here will be slip stitch. All right. Knit three, slip, knit three, slip, knit three, slip. Yes. So let's do it. Knit three, slip the next stitch, holding working yarn in back. Again, knit three, slip the next stitch. 
need three slip at the end need three and draw the last stitch turn and on the way back on the wrong side we need it as row number two slip the first stitch curl three Slip the next stitch holding working yarn in front and again curl three, slip, curl three, slip, curl three, slip. So just count here, you don't have white stitches so you need to count curl three and slip curl three and slip go on and finish this row okay i have done two rows let's say two long rows i finished the second one and now it's time to change the color so row number three will be the same as row number three in the pattern uh, slip uh, we don't slip the first stitch we need it to change the color then pearl one knit one pearl one and knit slip stitch and repeat pearl one knit one pearl one knit one so this is row number three finish it then row number four we turn back purling all stitches and after that need six more rows to get in total 10 repeating the pattern repeat the row number five then six seven eight and then again from the beginning here i am and that's what i have let's measure this part in case you use another yarn so this is 3.5 centimeters and now we need to find 13 stitches uh, in the center and we are going to need the sole so you can place stitch marker you can count uh, as you want or just knit you can cut the white yarn already we are not going to use it i'm going to knit sew using the red color so slip the first stitch and knit all other stitches we are going to knit sew in garter stitch how many stitches do i need so i have 85 stitches on my needles minus 13 is um, 72 72 divided by 236 so i need 36 stitches until i reach the central 13 stitches So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 36 stitches. And now need next 12 stitches. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Now 13 stitch and the next one from the left side we are going to purl two together. Turn. Slip the first stitch. Now knit 11. 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And here, these two stitches need two together. And that's what we are going to repeat. Turn. And please pay attention how I slip the first stitch. Slip the first stitch. Now knit 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And after that, you see, you don't need a stitch marker. Here is a big space between stitches. Curl two together. Great. Turn. Slip the first stitch. Knit 11. And at the end, knit two together. On the right side, we curl two together. On the wrong side, we knit two together. And here you see again distance between stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yes, 12. Knit two together. Turn. Let's do it one more time. Wouldn't work in yarn in front, so slip and place back working yarn. Knit 11. Knit 11, and purl two together. Turn. Slip. Again, knit 11. And knit two together. So I guess it's clear. Please go on repeating these two rows. Like this you will form the sole. And you go on doing and making decreases until you have on the right needle and on the left needle five stitches. So five stitches on the right needle, five stitches on the left needle. And welcome back guys that's what I have and that's how the sock is looking now as I said five stitches here and five stitches here now we are going continue making decreases but we will add more decreases to form the heel so slip the first stitch and knit nine three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have three stitches before the gap. Now knit two together. So we add one more decrease here. And as we did before on the right side, purl two together. Okay, turn. Now we are doing the same on the wrong side. Slip the first stitch, but knit eight already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. Again, three stitches before the gap. Knit two together and knit two together as we are usually doing on the wrong side. Okay, and that's what we are going to repeat. Slip the first stitch. Now knit seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now here we are on the right side. Knit two together. Purl two together. 
turn. Slip the first stitch. Now knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now knit two together. And knit two together after. So knit two together twice. Like this, go on decreasing, making double decreases in each row until you have three stitches on your needles. And here I am, I have three stitches. So now let's finish. So I need my working yarn in back. So do it like this and now knit three together. Perfect. And beautiful heel. So now cut the yarn and we are going to seam the, the heel. Pull the tail through the stitch. Just to close it. Great. Take the yarn needle, thread the tail, and what you need to find is So here is this, uh, the first sewage stitch and then the bar after it. So you see double bar here. And here. So the, here is red, here is white. The same here. So you see the sewage stitch and then double bars. So between, let's say between two salvage stitches. Like this. The same will be here. Double. Then this one. That's how I'm going to insert the needle. Then this one and so on. So let's do it. I insert the needle from right to the to the left. on one side and on another side. Two bars, you see. Then here, sometimes they're hiding. We dig for them. Here they are. The most important when you do it, you see that the, the drawing matches. And here, also here, you see, in this way go on seaming till the end. And that's what I have, look, it's really beautiful, everything matches as it should be.
please weave in ends and let's try it. I tried them myself already and they're really comfortable. I really like them a lot. That's it, guys. Ta -da! Thank you so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will need these beautiful slippers for for yourself or as a present. Please like this video and, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more knitting and crocheting tutorials. Bye!